modern finishes, affordability in a great and convenient location is what we're gonna see in today's video. Greetings everyone, a warm welcome to you. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm Wendy Quinones, your host of this amazing YouTube channel where I am committed myself to finding you the best deals here in the Sunshine State as far as real estate goes. And if this is of interest to you, I invite you to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Today we are stepping outside of Ocala and taking a look at homes available in areas very close to that Ocala area. Now, now today we are in Summerfield where we are going to see this new construction home that is four bedrooms, three bathrooms, a two car garage, nice long driveway as always, 2,057 square feet, no carpet and it is a great home and we also are building more so that's a major plus. Now for those of you who are not familiar with this side of town. We are only 20 minutes away from Ocala. Now, I know a lot of people are looking for homes near to Ocala, but they want to be a little bit closer to, like we say, civilization. And in this case, we are actually right across the street from a Publix. Um, there's medical facilities. There's a lot of things here in the back. So there's going to be homes behind you. And then you're going to have the road where there's going to be a whole bunch of medical facilities, a Publix, a Bells, and a lot of different things. You're also going to have a golf court if you like to golf. It's right across the street. We are only 20 minutes from Ocala in this home, 30 minutes from downtown Ocala, only 65 minutes from downtown Orlando, and 70 minutes from that Orlando International Airport and the Disney Park. So we are very conveniently located. If you wanna be closer to Orlando, but you don't wanna be in Ocala per se, you wanna be kind of say a middleman where you can still find an affordable price home, this is a great place. And let me tell you, the community, the area is amazing it's very quiet it's very calm it's very peaceful so if that's something that you're looking for make sure to stick around to the end of this video so before we step inside the home i wanted to show you what you're gonna see upon entry or i should say before entry into this home you're gonna have these nice pillars that's you're gonna see these pillars that are gonna give it a really nice porch area and it gives the home an elegant look which is something that i love when it comes to new construction homes and homes in general now with that let's go ahead and see the inside <laughs> so one of my favorite things in a home is that you walk into a nice foyer area it gives the home a nice touch especially the homes that'll give you a nice linen closet upon entry where you're going to be able to use this as say a coat closet or maybe store your cleaning supplies or anything that you're going to need so you're going to immediately see that we have this nice ceramic tile floor here you're going to have this space here to put decorations it is a good size as far as the width goes on both sides now the entire home is going to have these same floors all throughout so no carpet you got one thing checked off your list if you're looking for a home with no carpet and i love the color it definitely gives a nice um relaxing warm energy into the home so behind this door we're gonna have that two car garage so if you're wondering where can i come in to the home if i park my car inside the garage you're gonna enter just like if you were coming through the front door the entryway is in the middle of that foyer area so now when we come into the home we're gonna step into that first bedroom now the size of this room is a 10.4 by 12 you can definitely fit a queen size bed in this room with the nightstand you're gonna have this um, double pane double wide window with the window treatments already included in the price of this home and you're also gonna have um, 
the trim here and all of the windows. Now every bedroom is gonna be, have a decent sized closet with double shelves, so better for organization, of course. We have to have that nice organization in our closet space, so you're gonna have a closet that looks just like this, and they do have a recess lights in all the closets. Now stepping out of this bedroom, we're gonna step into that hallway we just came in through, and we're gonna go to the right where we're gonna have that uh, bathroom that the two bedrooms are gonna share, and this is technically considered the guest bathroom. Now one thing that I love is this long quartz um, vanity that they included here. They put a section here for you if you wanna get ready. You can put a seat right here, get ready. You have enough space in the mirror also so that this side is um, focused in the sink, and then this side is focused on like perfumes, beauty products, hair products, whatever you need. It does have a drawer here. They are all soft clothes. So you can store all of, let's say your makeup brushes or your hair tools, or if you're a male, if you have um, shavers, store all that here. You're gonna have cabinets and we're gonna have drawers here and we're gonna have cabinets on that side. And then we're also gonna have a linen closet right here inside the bathroom. It does have six shelves in this linen closet, very spacious, enough space to store whatever you need. And then in this bathroom, we're gonna have a shower tub combination with the ceramic tiles going uh, three fourths of the way to the top. Now, when we step out of this bathroom, we're gonna go into that second bedroom, which is a 10 by 12.8. So it's just about the same size as the other bedroom, just a tad bit bigger. You're gonna have the same um, style as far as the closets go, except in this case, you're gonna have one window on the side of the home. Now, one thing that I didn't mention in the previous bedroom is that every room is gonna include four recess lights. Typically in a new construction home, you're gonna have that one light in the middle. And in some cases they, they won't even have the box for the fan, but in this case, you're gonna have that connection. So if you wanna come get a fan later on in the future, you have that, but you also have great lighting because they included those four recess lights. Stepping back into that foyer area, we're gonna come to the end of the area. Now this is actually my favorite part. Remember this as I'm inside the room because I'm gonna explain something to you guys. So we're gonna walk into that third bedroom. This one is a 12 by 13. It is very spacious in this bedroom, honestly. You can definitely fit a king size bed in here, whether it be this way or this way. This room is super spacious compared to the other ones. I don't know if it's the way they laid it out, but this feels a lot bigger. Now, if you're somebody who's looking for a form of income, the reason why I said just remember this hallway right here is because if you decide that maybe you wanna um, use the bedroom for extra income, you can close out that hallway, maybe put a private door, like numbered lock, so that somebody can rent this room out. Or if you wanna do a little bit of work and maybe change the window into a um, door and have somebody enter in through the side, then you have that capability with this bedroom, simply because, I'll show you in a couple of seconds, um, but it does have a bathroom included in it. And then you're gonna have a closet. It is a little bit bigger than um, the other closets. I'm just gonna step in here so you guys can see. It's definitely spacious. I'm almost to the wall, but not completely there. But then again, you see that they have the double shelves. Now, if you decided that you wanted to change this into a, um, a little bedroom that you can rent out, maybe you can put a little kitchenette on this side, or if you wanted to put it on this wall simply because the bathroom is on this side and you're gonna have all the plumbing there, you can, this side right here is gonna be facing the bathroom of the primary bedroom, so you can also do it on this side. So on either side, you can add that plumbing to make the little small kitchenette area and include that and rent out this little room. Now, this room does have that bathroom, full-size bathroom. This is the second bathroom in the home. You're gonna have the same granite countertops here, again, drawers and cabinets. And then this is actually a nice standing shower. I really like what they did with the tile work on this one. They included this nice um, tile, again, three-fourths of the way. And then they put in these little um, rocks on the floor, so it gives it a nice calming feeling, which I think is very important when you're taking a shower. You wanna kinda just de-stress and take away any negative energy that you have on you. This is definitely a great shower. It's weird because it's the little things that make such a big difference. And then of course, we're gonna have that toilet right here, but nonetheless, it is a great bathroom. It is a great bedroom. So far, let me know how you guys feel about this home. So then when we get to the end of the foyer, very spacious laundry room. If you wanna put the shelves instead of having that standard rack, then that's something that you can definitely do in this laundry area. So we are officially done with that foyer and we're gonna step into this amazing kitchen. There's so many finishes in this kitchen that I love. It's finishes that you would see in say a luxury home, but we're not in a luxury home per se. We're in a very modern with luxury finish at an affordable price home. 
but you're gonna have a lot this island is huge you can fit about five six chairs on this side and you're gonna have the um, refrigerator included the range one thing that i do want to point out is that it actually has the hood all that smoke all that air whatever it is is going to go out of the house it's not just going to stay cum accumulating here you're going to have the stove as well all of the appliances in this home are samsung appliances now one of the other finishes that i love about this home is that the builder put in drawers here they do have different sizes so if you want to store your bowls and your pots and pans in certain different drawers you have that and then you're going to have the 42 inch cabinets they also put in handles again i've mentioned this in previous videos not every builder does that and then in this side you're going to have all of these cabinets and they're also included the cabinet for you to put in the trash here on this side definitely a very very nice home they thought about all of the finishes and one other thing that i wanted to show you guys is that they put this for the sauces nice because as of right now i'm having issues organizing my sauces and i wish i had something like this to put every seasoning that we're using to cook in this it is amazing i love it it's like the smallest thing but i'm the simple things are what makes you happy in life you're also going to have all of this counter space right here as well as more cabinets there's definitely a lot of space for organization a lot of cabinets they didn't keep out on the cabinet in this one and you're also going to have this pantry right here it's also going to have the six shelves maybe seven i think um so you can go ahead and organize everything else so there's no issues in this kitchen as far as organization goes as far as being able to fully use the kitchen as it should and as i stated you can fit a lot of chairs on this island definitely a great space for having family get togethers now right here we are in that dining room area just take a look and appreciate that natural light that's coming in through this window and on top of that you're going to have the four recess lights and again uh you're going to be able to put in the ceiling fan if you want a ceiling fan in your dining room or if maybe you want to put a nice chandelier above your table you already have that pre-wired for you a great space here you can fit about six eight ten guests especially if you did a square table you can definitely fit a lot of guests now coming to this section we are going to be led directly into that living room that great room so you're going to be able to put the tv on either which side if it were me personally i would put the tv on this side just because that wall space is bigger and you can put whatever size you want if you want a projector you can do that this living room is facing the rear of the home you're gonna have um the double pane double wide windows and all that natural light coming in again window treatments in the entire home now one thing before we get into the next space which i think you guys know where we're going this area right here would be a great area say for um, family pictures or if you work from home and you kind of want to just put a desk there you can do that for the holidays i know we still have a long time until the holidays you can put your christmas tree right here if you're someone who celebrates the holidays so we're walking into that primary bedroom and of course if we can fit a king bed into that other bedroom we can definitely put a king size bed in this one now let's say we put the king size bed on this wall and then our dresser here if you want a tv you can put a tv on this wall if you're somebody who doesn't like the tv then maybe just um, put a mirror or something that looks like a, a portrait if you're a couple maybe put your wedding photo on that side this one also has that same window as in the living room so it's going to bring in that natural light all throughout the day now of course one thing that is of importance to us in a home is that walk-in closet so just take a look at the walk-in closet that we have here we have all of this shelving space definitely a great place you don't even have to come in here and really do a diy cake you can easily organize um, the space in here you can put maybe your pants down here your shirts up top or vice versa and then just add things up here your shoes can go i don't know there's just so many options as far as what we can do in this closet space and then of course we have to see that primary bathroom so you guys saw the bathroom space in that first bathroom and you saw how long the vanity was in that one and just take a look at how much bigger this one is honestly you can split it say right here down the middle and each person can store their products on either side each individual is going to have their own um doors and cabinets so just take a look at how much storage space you have here this is definitely a, a bathroom where you don't miss out where you're kind of like how can i organize this to to not have too many things on the um, vanity and then you're gonna have that private toilet right here it's really spacious in here also so definitely didn't miss out on anything with this this model with this um with this builder 
And then of course we have that standing shower with one thing that we also love. When you come in here, for one, it is spacious. I can put my hands up and not touch either side of the wall. And then you're gonna have a little seat right here. Ladies, if you like to shave your legs in the shower while you're here, take advantage. You can shave your legs while you're here. You can maybe a long day of work to sit here. If you're tired, if you're sick, you can sit here. The water will hit you no problem. And it does have that same um, rocks that we had in that other uh, shower and then the same tiles. One of the things that I like is that the handle is right here. You don't have to kind of go underneath the shower head. You have it separate, so that's a major plus for us. The size of this bathroom, the finishes that they did in this home are spectacular. So now let's go ahead and step outside so we can see what the backyard looks like. So in this home, we're gonna have that lanai area. It does have a standard door, it doesn't have a French door, but the builder went ahead and put the pavers together for you. So if you kind of want to build a pool or a nice little fire pit area or relaxation area, you can extend the pavers out this way and just come out here and put a nice little fire pit. This area does not have an HOA or a CDD either. So you're free to put up a fence if you want. And if you want to add different things throughout, and you're more than welcome to now right now this house does not have any neighbors in the back but in the future they're possibly going to be building a home um, on this side and then you're also able to build this home on other lots so we do have other lots available for this same model so this one is something that you doesn't interest you and you kind of want something a little bit more into the community so to speak we do have that option available for you so with that being said let's go ahead and step inside and talk about the finances for this home Thank you so much for making it until the end of this video. If you made it to the end, I assume that you love this home and you want more information, you wanna know what the price is like. But before we get to the price, I wanna make sure that you have all the information as far as the home in itself goes. The home that we saw in today's video is a four bedroom, three bathroom home, 2,057 square feet, tiles all throughout the home, no carpet whatsoever, amazing finishes. You're gonna have great lighting in every single bedroom because the builder went ahead and added all of the recessed lights for you, so it's something that you don't have to come and do. Later on, they made sure that they had it prepped for you to have all the ceiling fans, if you like ceiling fans, or maybe if you just wanna put another light into the bedroom, you already have that taken care of for you as well. The builder has also included all the appliances in the kitchen, all Samsung appliances, not the standard ones that we see in the home. In the kitchen, you're gonna have, again, the 42-inch cabinets, you're gonna have the handles, you're gonna have drawers as well. You have the, um, the trash can drawer set up for you already, as well as the spice drawer already installed for you. So you can literally come in and move into this home. It is moving ready, and as I said, the builder is building other homes, the same model in different lots. So this is not the lot for you, or say this one isn't available when you give me a call. We have other ones available for you. Similar floor plan, maybe the flooring changed a little bit, maybe the countertops changed a little bit. You know, just minor finishes that are changed, but the home is gonna be just like this one. Now this home is going for $355,000. And if you ask me, this is actually a great price, especially where we're located. We are in Summerfield, but we are right across the street. The Village's Golf Course, well, I would say maybe down the street from the Village's Golf Course, you're gonna have the Publix and a lot of other stores and medical facilities um, in this same street, probably about two to five minutes away from this area. You're gonna have the I-75 about 10 minutes from here. So if you wanna go north, maybe you wanna go south, maybe you wanna go to Orlando, we're gonna have that 75 and the Turnpike entrance about 10 minutes from this home, which is a major plus, especially for those of us who like to go explore in different um, areas of Florida. If you like to take staycations with the family, if you wanna do a weekend in Disney, maybe a weekend in Tampa, here Water Beach, Daytona Beach, you are definitely in a place where you can get to any of those locations. Now, as far as purchasing this home, how much do I need for a down payment? How much do I need for closing costs? How does this work? Well, I'm here to guide you in that process. And one of the things that I love to inform you guys about is what you need as far as down payment and closing costs go. So when you buy a house, you're gonna have the closing costs and you're gonna have your down payment. Now, say you wanna buy this house, first time home buyer, 3.5% FHA loan. You're gonna take that 355, we're gonna multiply it by 3.5%, which gives us $12,425. So that's what you're gonna need as far as a down payment goes for this house if you buy FHA 3.5%. Now, how much do I need if say I wanna buy, it's my second home, I wanna do conventional 5%. With that, you're gonna need $17,750 
as a down payment. And if you want to buy a home like this for investment purposes, which would be a great location for you, you're going to need that 20%, which is going to be $71,000. Now we're also going to need the um, closing costs, but we can always negotiate with the builder. But I would save definitely have saved about two to four percent of the purchase price. It's typically about three percent, but I'd rather you guys have more than less. But don't worry because we're gonna go ahead and get that covered for you by the builder. Now, if you're a veteran and you're interested in a home in this area, it is a great location for you because we do have the VA hospital and the VA clinics very close by. A lot of people like this area versus ocala if they're a veteran simply because of the hospital and of the facilities that we have and you can buy this home with zero percent down we're going to need money for that closing cost but as i said we can get that covered by the builder or at least a big portion of it now if you want a tour of this home my number is going to be here at the bottom of the screen give me a call i also want to inform you guys that i'm going to have a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and schedule a consultation with me or showing with me so that we can go ahead and show you this home and get more information and see where you're at in that home buying process. The link is gonna be down below. My consultations are about 30 minutes. So you're gonna see a one-on-one -on -one consultation in those appointments so you can go ahead and schedule that. It does link with my calendar, so it is gonna show you the time that I am available. And then if you decide that you wanna sell your home first and then you wanna buy a home, I also assist with that. So I'm also gonna have listing appointments there. So if you wanna see what you can get for your home. If you're down in say South Florida and you wanna sell your house, I do assist a lot of people down there to sell their homes. You're gonna have that link down below. So go ahead and click listing appointment, or you can just simply give me a call or text me at the bottom that is on the screen. I wanna be of assistance to you. I wanna guide you from beginning to end in your possible buying home here in the beautiful Sunshine State. And I wanna help you win with London.